Okay. Richard? Yes, sir. I'm Detective Mulan. All right, Detective. Uh, Good morning. Good morning, man. I know it's been a long day. It's been a long day for all of us. Um, I've actually been working. Uh, sorry about that. All right. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, I've actually been working this case with these guys. I know you haven't seen me. You've probably seen me walk by a few times. Right. Um, basically, um, I have some things I want to share with you, but, uh, you know, based on what we did in our investigation and what we found out. Um, but I want to get your consent to get your DNA, um, just so we can compare it to evidence that we have on scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you consent to provide your DNA? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. I know you've already admitted to firing yeah. three shots. Yes, sir. Okay. There's a fourth shot that was fired. Right. That's what I've been told, and I don't... Listen. There's a fourth shot that's been fired, and I want you to think of this while I go through this packet and we go and get your DNA. Right now, you're looking at a misdemeanor charge for discharging a firearm in public. Basic, possibly get you out of here with a citation. Okay? Yes, sir. You know, because you just can't, in a neighborhood like that, you can't be shooting your fucking gun. Uh, I know you guys are drunk and you guys yeah. are fucking doing stupid shit. Yes, sir. Okay? Um, we've talked to witnesses, we've talked to parties in your house, and we've talked to um, Larry. Okay. And he's pretty much came, was forthcoming with us. Right. Okay. Now, we, it's your firearm, you're responsible for it. Okay. We need you to be completely honest about that fourth shot. If not, if not, if we can prove otherwise, which it's a good likelihood that we will be able to. You could be charged with more charges for hiding information from us. Right, I understand that. You understand that? Yes, sir. So, we need to find out how that fourth shot was fired. And I'd love to tell you. Yeah, well, you better start thinking very quickly. Um, because that's going to ultimately decide what we're going to do here because we can prove other things. We can prove otherwise. Right. Okay? Yes. So, don't I don't I don't want you to be scared of of Larry or whatever. He he came he was honest he, with he, us. He, he shot I guess the fourth round. He shot the fourth round? Yeah. Why are you holding that information from us? I don't know. You need to be fucking honest, bro. I know. When shit hits the fan here, you know? I know. People are saving their own necks here. I know you guys are friends and maybe a little group, whatever you guys are trying to start or get into or whatever the hell, but don't be an accessory to his crime. Tell me how his fourth shot happened. I heard it. I didn't see it. When you walked inside after you shot into the ground, where did you put the gun? I don't remember. I honestly don't. I was drunk. How did he get a hold of it? He must have been somewhere near where we were. I was drunk, officer. We know that you were drunk. Yeah. Okay. So. But, you know, we've been, you know, I mean, we appreciate you telling us what happened, but, you know, tell, tell us how it happened. I, I'm not very clear on a lot of the issues because I was drunk. Listen, we've, I know we've that all I been did. drunk. We're all grown men. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, but I don't. I wasn't clear because as soon as I finished doing my rounds, I went and I go to the kitchen. I got some turkey, and then I went right into my bedroom. And I can't hear out of this left ear, so I heard a pop, but that was the end of it. And I just rolled over, and closed my eyes, and the next thing I know, I got a knock on the door that the police are hey, asking. Richard. Please. Richard. So start mixing the facts up again. I'm not mixing them up. I'm okay. just trying to keep, no. you know, what ha what I recall exactly okay. how I recall it. Okay. Richard, there was a time where you actually came outside before, okay, SWAT actually um, 
demanded that you guys come outside. Okay? There, there are reports that other people in the house came outside. The only person who didn't come outside was Larry. But when he would walk in front of the window, because you're, you're for a time there, the front bay window by the front door yeah. was open. And every time that he would pass by, the, you see the, the SWAT team members and other uniformed personnel are stating that they figured him to be the suspect. Okay? Yes, sir. So, when you came outside, you had a cigarette, you sat down in a chair, you weren't in the bed. I just had gotten up from the bed because they knocked on my bedroom door and told me that yeah. they were calling oh. us out there. Right. Well, if they were calling you out there, you didn't go to them because we have reports that they asked you to go to them and you didn't. Neither did Michael. Okay. And neither did, um, I drew a blank on the female's name. Diane. Neither did Diane. Okay? Yes, sir. Look, I'm probably 20 years younger than you. You don't have to call me sir. I'm not trying to be disrespectful by that comment. What I'm trying to explain to you is we know the whole story now. And Larry has told us the whole story also. So. Now you're in a position where, hey, now that we know the whole story, you know what? You didn't tell us the whole story as you know it. And you have to tell us that right now in your words. We know what happened. We need to decide what we should do here. Okay. with the parts that you decide that you want to leave out for whatever fucking reason. I pretty much told you everything that I remember. Right. Tell me again. I was out. I have never fired a pistol before. Real one. I wanted to hear what it sounded like. It went boom, boom, boom. Then I went back into the house. At that point, I don't remember what I did with the pistol. And I grabbed some turkey, had a little piece of turkey, went back into my room. I heard the gun go pop. And I just, I just said, fuck it. You know, I'm rolling over and going to sleep. I didn't, didn't feel well, you know, I was drunk. You didn't just roll over and go to sleep. Sergeant Rubin told us that you actually took the gun, you put it back in its case, and put it up in the attic. After I got woken up before I came out to have my cigarette. And after you told Diane, tell everybody that's out there I'm not here. I never said that. That's what she told us, and she told that to us in a sworn statement. No, no I never said that to her. I never said that to her. And that's what she said to us. So you're telling us when this fourth round goes off, the police have already been called because of your rounds. I guess, yeah. So there's police eyewitnesses, okay? And you said your blinds were open, your front? I don't remember, guys. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, so yeah. you're going to tell me you weren't there when Larry fired the shot. I didn't that see doesn't him. really change anything. No, I didn't what see it does him. change is your credibility. I didn't see him fire a shot. I actually didn't see it myself, visually see it. But you heard that it. That I recall. But you heard it. I heard a pop, yeah. Yeah. And you knew he had the firearm. He took the firearm. I didn't. I wasn't positive. I was so positive. God forgive me. God forgive me, man. You can have my DNA, whatever you want. Nobody was trying to hurt anybody, especially no, that's, me. That's what we figured out. We didn't know that. Right. We get calls. Pe there's people shooting. Fucking right. police start responding to the area. One doesn't know the exact address. Right. Swings by. He hears a shot. Now he thinks, fuck, they're shooting at me. 
That's why this whole thing got blown out the way, blown up the way it has. After we've done a thorough investigation, we've gone to the scene, we've got the gun, we've tra trajectories around. You know, when rounds, when shell casings extract from a firearm, they fall a certain feed, right. so you can tell where people are standing, the trajectory, and things of that sort. Okay. We don't think anybody, nobody in your house was trying to kill anybody. No. No, we just a bunch of stupid fucking drunks. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. But, uh, are you sure you weren't standing right at the doorway? I can't tell you for sure. I can't, I don't remember. And I'm being honest with you. I don't remember. And I'm being straight, straight up with you. Can you spell your uh, first name for me? R-I-C-H-A-R-D. Last name? B-A-R-K-E-R. -E Date of birth? 1955. Address? Uh, 110 Northeast 48th Street, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Three, three, three. Three, four. Okay, I'm gonna read this uh, this form to you so you understand it, okay? I, Richard Barker, hereby freely and voluntarily consent to provide Briar County Sheriff's Office deputies with a mouth swab specimen and or blood sample for typing comparison and or other analysis or comparisons that prior chair's office deems necessary. I have been fully informed that these results may be used against me in court of law, and I fully understand that I have a right to refuse to give this sample. I have read and understood the above statement, and I consent to provide the sample of my own free, on my own free will without any threats or promises have been, having been made to me. Do you understand this form? Yes. And you consent to give your DNA? Is that oh, correct? Yes. Sign right here. Where do I sign? Sign there. What exactly is this going to be used for? We're going to use for whatever we deem necessary to compare at, oh. at the scene. Today is 21st. I tell you, there'd be a lot of people in jail up in Pennsylvania the way they shoot out of their backyards up there. Yeah, but when you're when the houses are so close, yeah. I, I don't know. I've never been to Pennsylvania. Yeah. How, what are, how, what does that look like over there? Country. Country, right? Yeah. Oh, well, if, you, if your fucking neighbor is a mile away, yeah. shit, shit, I'll be popping around all over too. You know, when the house is so close. So this is what actually to see if I murdered somebody or something like that. No, no. It's, it's we're gonna use it to we're gonna we recover the gun and you know it's not just we obviously you told us you fired around right. and stuff like that but for legal this. purposes we're gonna we're gonna use it for elimination purposes because your fingerprints and your DNA is gonna be on the gun. So is Larry's, and what we're going to do is find those two profiles and latent prints, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to match them up. Okay. Well, I told you I handled them. I weapons. know, but we have to prove it. Mm -hmm. It'd be no too easy if you just told us and we're like, okay, we're done with it. You know what I'm saying? You just told me you were going to give me a ticket and send me on my way. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, basically your charge at this point is a misdemeanor. That's all it was. Too. Open your mouth. What clothes were you wearing when you uh, were shooting out front? You were wearing those same clothes? Yes, sir. You didn't change your clothes at all? 
That's right. Uh, and this is where I go to bed. I like this, you know, I wear these because in case I have a reaction at night. A reaction? Yeah, I'm diabetic. Okay. And, you know, one time I had a reaction and I was in my uh, sh my shorts and it was, a, it was a girl paramedic that was so embarrassed. <laughs> so now I always sleep. Why was she embarrassed? You weren't embarrassed? I was embarrassed. Oh, you were embarrassed? Yeah. What's your social, Richard? 019 mm -hmm. 464509. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. You asking something? Um, I was just saying. I like you said she was embarrassed. I would have, you know. Uh, uh, anyways, any reason why Larry would tell us that he changed clothes? No, not that I know. Okay. You weren't wearing different pants, different shoes. When you were shooting the gun into the ground? No. Okay. No. It was really bad, pretty by. What time of day or evening was this when you were shooting the gun into the ground? I don't know, it was just getting dark. So it was dusk out, right? No, well, dusk or darker, maybe. Did it start to rain yet? Yes. Okay. Talk to me about, was it heavy rain? Was it a downpour? Was it a torrential downpour? Was it a light mist? It was, uh, it was a heavy rain. It was a heavy rain? Yeah. Okay. So Sign here that this is your DNA. In the heavy rain, you shot into the ground? Yes, sir. Okay. Did anybody change clothes inside the uh, house? I don't know. I don't. What What was uh, Larry wearing all day? What he's wearing right now? The black shirt. With I the saw him this morning. And the afternoon, you know, I don't think I didn't pay attention to what he was wearing, but I imagine that was what he was wearing. If you was a hot woman, would you have paid attention? Uh, at my age right now, no. Uh? <laughs> uh, you'd have to get me some Viagra for that now. How old are you? 57. Diabetic for about 40 years. But the, di the diabetes makes you a not... Lot of, lot of, a lot of things happen. I'm, I'm disabled. Hmm. I can't work anymore. No, I'm saying, like, uh, you're saying you need Viagra. No, I was saying that, yeah, probably. I mean, if you saw a hot-looking chick, you wouldn't look? I'd think about it. I don't know if I could, uh, like, that old country song goes, that, you know, what I once was, but I'm as good once as I w ever was. <laughs> <laughs> who sings that song? It's a country-western song. I don't know who sings it. Pretty cool song, though. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to have to walk home or I'm going to be able to get a ride. Mm. We'll, we'll work something out. you probably get a ride. I don't think I could walk that far and I don't have any money for a cab. Other than at the house, I have no money. You had a pretty nice house there. Worked a lot of years for you, It's paid off? Almost. I like the yard, but you, you don't got the, uh, the jacuzzi going anymore, it looks like. No, no. Can't afford it right now. Well, because the heating bill, the heating costs on it? Yeah, the rest of thing. Alright, give us another few minutes and I'll be wrapping all this stuff up, okay? Thank you, guys. <laughs>